Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the start of our Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning playthrough series. If this is a game that interests you, then sit tight and enjoy. And we will of course be playing on hard. If you're going to do something, do it right. Let's start off with the story, huh? From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. Huh? I'm awake. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and immutable Fae folk. I am that <laughs> That's correct. Oh. Oh. That is gruesome. But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. And goofy looking. Look at that guy. What a buffoon. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha de Deon, uh, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. Oh, yes. like in the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fey are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two lives are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again. For the Fey do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? That's kind of rough. Everyone for ten you kill, years, the war back. raged. For ten years, the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. That guy's Until screwed. you died. What happened when I died? Hmm. The mystery starting to unravel. Quite a grim, quite a grim scene here, huh? Post battle. Is that me? Ooh, I think it might be. That might be your hero force. I think it could be him. Yep, there's my tarot cards. I mean, I mean yes. Welcome to Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Nice little introduction there. And now, into. I believe these are in game cinematics, it looks like. What do you think this one is then? Alpha? Barani? Could even be a Jotun? Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. Hmm. Character creation screen. Here we go, guys. Four races to choose from. And then you can, of course, swap between gender, but we're going to be a guy because anything else is kind of creepy. All right, Al Almain is the first one. Almain are a warlike and religious nation of storied origin. Many Almain come to the Feylands seeking freedom while honoring the traditions of their homeland. This is going to be plus one alchemy, plus one persuasion, plus two blacksmithing. He looks promising. Varanai, hardened by the high seas, Varanai are just as frequently pirates and mercenaries as they are shrewd merchants. They favor swords and daggers as seaworthy weapons. Plus one mercantile, plus one detect hidden, plus two lock picking. Losho Lalfar, friggin' elf name, so difficult. Uh, the Hosalfar, I'll call them that, Losofar, are a proud and ancient people from the frozen lands of the north. Losofar judge themselves fit to divine right from wrong under wind, sun, and sky, and meet an even handed justice. Plus one alchemy, plus one sagecraft, plus two dispelling, looks magey. This guy looks roguey. The Dokalfar, renowned as sophisticated students of magic and diplomacy, while they do not shy from conflict, they prefer to resolve disputes subtly and with grace or efficiency in silence. And I do think I'm going to go with the Almain. I do want to play this uh, game as a warrior-style class, I believe. I 
could change my mind halfway through. All right, now we have got these to choose from. Little patron bonuses, uh, fire damage, fire resist, 10 mana, physical damage and armor, health and mana, extra health or uh, none, which will give us experience bonus. I'm gonna go with war, which is plus five physical damage and plus five percent armor. Let's go with that, huh? And presets, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that. This guy looks the coolest. Let's just uh, give him some aged hair color. And yes, and yes, and we'll go with that. Come on, go all the way over. What are you doing to me here? And accessories, we get rid of the jewelry. We'll go with, uh, let's see if we got any cool tattoos here. Yeah, that's cool, some arrows pointing to a tear. <laughs> oh man, this guy's super emo. Just kidding. A human. Hmm. He's a not in battle hardened shape. warrior. Our he is. main by the look of him. You know how you can tell? Turn him over. See if there's a stick in his ass. Yeah, you're funny, gnome. All right then. Make sure it goes into the report. Real funny. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. I have Put a name. With the others. My name is Force. You fools think you're talking to. Look at that. Elred, no thank you. I'm not a Nancy Frit. What was I going to write? Frice? <laughs> Force, that's the name I meant to type. And we're getting dumped down a chute. That is sad. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time. Cheerio, chap. Good day. There we go. Down in the pit. Well, we made our character. We have a name. We know a little bit of the backstory. And here we are, waking up. And uh, where are we? Oh my gosh. What is this? Get out of here. I'm freaking out. Hey, get him off me. This guy stinks. And why is it? their faces are still moving. And you can see the stink. You can literally see the stink. Probably gaseous fumes from decaying corpses. We've got a bunch of flies hobbling around over there. We're standing on a body of corpses. Probably going to need some sort of vaccination after this. At least we have a nice waterfall in the background. Don't slip on the don't slip on the loose skin there. The skin's going to start falling off here. I guarantee it. With all the decay and bug activity. Oh man, this is not good. Probably want to vacate the premise too. Why don't you just get up and uh, get to walk in there? It's kind of wobbly. I suppose you would be after being dead. And what is up with his arms? He's walking like a dinosaur. Hello. All right, guys, welcome to Kingdoms of Onlar Reckoning. Introductory cinematics are complete. It is time to get into some gameplay. I have some presets already here, and uh, we start off with a new active quest out of the darkness. So I've set up all the uh, all the options here, and just if you guys want to see, gonna be playing on hard. Got all sorts of stuff here: auto save, yada yada yada, mini map and stuff. Audio levels there, so you can hear me talking. And also, one thing I do want to note to you is I dropped camera sensitivity. It starts off at about 50%, <clears throat> dropped it down to a little bit below 25. Uh, in playing the demo, it was really really wonky. The, uh, we'll take this little note here. I'll read at some point. The camera stuff was really wonky, and uh, I decided to try to cut that back a little bit. Now, I can still look behind me very quickly, and that's really all that matters. You see, it can still drop behind you really quick. Uh, but 50% the camera was just kind of bouncing all over the place. So, As long as you can spin around fast... Oh, I got a sword. As long as you can spin around fast in an RPG to be able to attack targets behind you, then it doesn't matter. You don't need super crazy... Uh, Super crazy sensitivity. All right, we're going to equip the rusty longsword. And you might say, Force, you kind of know your way around uh, the menus and stuff. Yes, I played the demo, as I already mentioned. And with that, I've got a decent feel on the game. And oh, I was really excited. Run. Oh, no. Tuatha. That's a Tuatha. Why did he not run? They Scatter, told him to run. Scatter, children of dust. Scatter oh, before the might of the Tuatha. Get a run. Behind the might of the Tuatha. So the Tuatha are the uh, baddies in this game. I almost want to call them orcs. And looky there. We got some rats to take care of. First I got to take care of this barrel. And here we go. Rats. Die, giant rat. No, oh, he hit me as I was in a slow attack animation. And is saddening indeed. Anything around here? Nope. Just some stupid Stay rats. Stay away! Ooh. 
this too often, but I think. Oh well, it's fine. We'll just keep walking. So we destroy some barrels and stuff. Yes, this is Kingdom of Zomalore Reckoning. After playing the demo, I decided I really liked it, and I would like to play the game, and I thought, you know what, I'll I'll start a playthrough series. We'll probably take it a few episodes, see how the reception is, see if people are enjoying it, if they even like the game. I'm still going to be doing other, everything else on my channel will be staying the same. Not stopping my StarCraft content, not stopping Diablo content, not stopping Skyrim, or the Force Meet, or anything like that. There, but now we have to rescue a gnome. Please. Oh, what the soldiers? GTFO. Is this guy just gonna watch me destroy his friend? So, oh, oh, yeah, there you go. The thing I like about this game is the combat. Fluid. Ooh! Yes! Uppercut! Take that. Yeah. Take it easy, buddy. No child yeah, Let's talk to this dude. Let's talk oh, to Mr. Thank Gnome. You. Thank you. I, if you hadn't come along, I, wait. I've seen you before. On the slab, you. Very you observant. Were dead. Yes. It worked. By the tome, it worked. Yes, You're I'm alive. alive. I am. Uh, so what happened to me? Uh, well, uh, you died. We figured that out. I don't know how or even where, but your body was remade in the Well of Souls, and somehow it worked. The Well of Souls, the well you say? Restored your soul to your body, and it worked. So. It we must Any specifics? Get you to Hughes right away. No? Okay. He'll have questions for you. Well, who is Hughes? Professor Formerus Hughes. The Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! Great. What did you give me? Health potions. Wonderful. Let me get this door. All right. Well, we, um, we do way. have some stuff over here. I saw some barrels and we have to destroy that. We have a chest right, right there as well. So all these things must be taken care of. Get all this stuff. So yeah, I will be planning to play this character as a warrior type. Kind of big, bulky, two-handed weapons if at all possible. Looks like I only have a one-handed at the moment. But. And that will be, that's my game plan. That's my MO. Now I do have some armor and stuff that has been spammed down there for a while. Every time I pick up a new piece of armor though, I'm not going to go back into the inventory because I'll be here all the time. So, it'll basically be if I get anything really good or after I clear a room or two, you know, I'll do it like in between clearing rooms, invention. but every the single well time. Of souls. Silly. Imagine an end to war, well an end souls. to death. Hmm. What are you doing, Tuatha? Tuatha, those look like bombs, don't you? That's the Well of Souls, and no, the Well of Souls. This thing is responsible for me being alive. It is because of the Well of Souls that I'm even living right now. If the Well of Souls didn't exist, this game wouldn't exist. What do you think about that? Hmm? That's right, it's not a joke. That is super serious. And I'm mad at those Tuatha. Let's see what we can do about this, huh? Got some boxes down there. Might be some sweet loot. Ah, falling rocks. Hello. Some objects can be destroyed with weapons. You see, we already knew that, and you guys are gonna get these tutorials here because, well, we're in the start of the game. Just what happens. It says, gives you all these pro tips and stuff, and I guess it'll be good for you guys to read. If I happen to ignore them in the bottom right hand corner, just pardon my ignorance. <laughs> it's most likely because I already know what it's saying. We have a shield. Some more boxes back here. Wait, do you hear something? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Exception of you yammering in my ear. It, okay, hello. We did pick up the shield. Let's grab that, shall we? I knew this again. I will press enter. Thanks for the tip, Chief. I'm gonna go with the shield. So blocking is gonna work as follows. You hold down shift and you block. Now if you block right before an attack, you go slow-mo just like that. Look at that, perfectly timed. Kneel before Tierna. And so, just whittle this guy down. So um, stopping damage is gonna be either from blocking like this, or just from rolling. That's another way to avoid damage. So really, you know, trying to You're going stay to need more than just that there. sword. That one had a bow. This guy Get had it. a bow. Hmm. All right, 
So you, I'm assuming you're gonna force me to equip this again. And you're gonna go into weapons and secondary, and this is the bow. There you go. There it is. So bow, you of course are opening a weapon. Let's shoot them before they see us. And they switch to it. And then you can just basically move your mouse left and right to bounce between targets. So a mouse wheel is gonna be to switch weapons, you can go back and forth. You can see the bottom left it's switching. Go, go, go! Just like that, so. Okay. Don't tell me stop yelling at me, gnome. Thanks for opening the door, but I still have boxes to break. Probably one of the most, uh, you know, I just don't really like it. I don't like how RPGs are all about, you, know, you gotta open this box and break that. I understand, like, how some of it should be there, but I, I'm not a huge fan when there's always tons of it. It's like, I'd rather be fighting than breaking boxes, I tell ya. I don't know if that's weird to you. I don't know if that sounds weird to you, but... Okay, that last, my last arrow missed, so... We'll go up for the melee attack. The messenger. I am the messenger. What, like the postal service? I knew there was boxes down here. I saw it. I seen them. Some tattered documents, some more lock picks. Lock picks will always be good to have. I'm sure at some point you'll get to see the lock picking in action. This game was made by people who worked on the Elder Scrolls series. Not Skyrim specifically, I believe, but Oblivion and all that jazz. So you will see a lot of uh, kind of flavor Daggers from that game over here. You Ooh, catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more than makes up for their speed. Gotta love daggers. All right, let's equip some stuff here. So we just picked up that, which I don't care for. And we do have gloves, which for some reason I wasn't wearing any. Now to weapons, secondary, we're gonna throw those daggers on. So we got quick quick attacking daggers, slower, giant sword. I suppose it's not that giant. If you can sneak up on them with your daggers, you should be able to see is for stealth mode. Quietly. In which you'll get this eye. Now, in playing the demo, I made a video on it, so you would have seen me play as the stealthy character, and the super awesome stabs are certainly pretty neat. But again, this isn't going to be not this playthrough. I would like to, I would really like to do the warrior type, and that's why I plan to do. I'm gonna the do this for tutorial's the gods. sake. Look at the mortal firm and scat. Yeah, you two off are so cool. The coolest even. Piece of cake. Oh, you guys got crushed. The rocks be on my side. Let's see what this guy has. Just some gold. Okay. Here we go. Cave blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Well, it's because Perhaps I have magic. Shazam! Incredible. What are you? Uh, the man. You can just call me the man. Or force. It pretty much means the same thing. Power. What power indeed. Let's take this regarding spiders. And we have some robes in there. That'd be great for if I were playing a mage, but I'm not. I shan't do that. Continue along our way down this merry path. What do we have here? We got two. Oh, giant spider! We got it. Start with some magic. And then. Hey, don't you do that. Check down here real quick. It is a dead end, but I wonder if there's a ball. Oh, there it is. Worn hand wraps. All right. Spuddy's got some loot for us. They've completely covered the tunnel. Maybe you can use that staff to burn. Don't make me equip staffs if I don't want to use them. And there it is. So fire damage on that staff. The path rule. And that allows me. Whoops. CD. I thought that I just did. I not. I could have sworn I did that already. All right, so there's some fire damage, and then we can switch Not back. Not more spiders! Burn them! Burn them! Let's try with the staff, shall we? So these uh, staff weapons, they usually there's a three prong attack, and the third one's awesome AOE. Look at that! Pretty cool, huh? Let's 
knock him back, and then we can get up on him. Throw some magic in his face. Ew, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now, you're going to notice here random things to loot, like the spider sack. There's also uh, kind of like, I don't want to call it herbalism. Maybe that is what it's called in the game. I'm not sure if it's exact name yet. I'm sure we'll find out as we continue. But you're able to pick up, you know, plants and make potions and stuff like that in this game. Now, I'm probably going to be going blacksmithing for my warrior. And that's probably, if I'm going to focus any time on anything, it'll be on that. Don't hit me, you stupid spider. Sword in your face. Now the chest. There it is. Thank you. Always enjoy lockpicks. Hit R. Use a health potion. What did he just say to me? What did you say, gnome? Die, twas a bastard. Wait, you're not one of them. Yeah, good job. Insult, yet alive. And who is this? That's what I intend to find out. Come down, gnome people. Oh. What? Then he'd better get inside to see the old man. Quick, before those Twatha make another push. This is where we part ways. But take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get your shoes. We can hold off the Tawatha here. Oh, do 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 do. What is this? I need more help. I suppose these might be able to help. If the Tawatha realize what you are, you'll need them. Thank you for these things. Minor steel curtain. Thank you for the curtain. I shall not decorate my home. Now, where is Hughes? He's directly ahead, in his study. Just keep going past the top of the well. He needs to see you. Right now, you're the most valuable thing in his world. I'll see you on the outside, if fate wills it. Not sure if it will. Not sure if I want to see you either. Let's break these boxes. And all of a sudden, the two authors are just going to be able to roll right in here. <laughs> These poor guys have no protection. That's sad. Maybe if you weren't annoying gnomes, I would care. Okay, nothing over here. I'm just looking. I was told that this armory had sweet stuff for me. Now you... Okay, get out of the way, dying gnome. Ah, late armor. Nothing now I get to uh, like start to get some of my hefty thing. armor stuff here. We'll we got some weapons in there. Anything in this little... Okay, I see all those weapons. I would like to use them. I can't. Simple cloth frees your body and mind. All right. That's why mages. Let's go ahead and throw some awesome stuff on. What do we have here? Nothing. Still have my old junky sword. I'll just throw that this in the secondary weapon because it's probably what I'll be using anyways. I want some sort of range. Now, melee block efficiency. Eh. Not really interested in that. Uh, we're gonna go with anything that has crit. I suppose, unless we get plus physical damage from something. Robes, no thank you. And we have that equipped already. Okay, nothing here for pants yet. Let's go with... See, melee block, that doesn't... I mean, this looks like this is the hefty... This is like the heavy armor, right? But melee block, I don't care to have at all. I'd rather take critical hit damage. No question about that. Whatever. Thud it. Looks like I'll be wearing rogue armor. <laughs> Let's get up here. Is this the Well of Souls? I thought that was destroyed. Hmm. Just walk around it. Go up to here. Time to meet my maker. At least the guy who made the thing that made me come back to life. Little gnome friend. There he is. Hello? Hello? You can say anything? You've made it! And look at you! Even with all you've been through, the Tuatha, your return from the dead... Please forgive me, you must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomorous Hughes. And this is my laboratory at Alistar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing. The well of souls. The pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. I'm the guinea pig, huh? If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. 
Well, what's going on here? Mr. Hughes? Too much to explain right now. The Tawatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. Hmm. Let's get out of here. Yes, yes, you're right. I, I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... You're... Fascinating. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Uh, yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... Uh -oh. <clears throat> Perhaps I should go see. Sir! Sir! Mr. Hughes! The Tawatha have reached the lab! That inside the valve! Oh, oh no. Oh no. Here come the Tuatha. Close the door, please. No! We've got to get you out of here now! Quickly! Close the door. Close that. Okay. Follow the path to the town of Gorhart. Find Agath. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! All right, I'll find Agarth. What? Help me. All right, I can I can take care of these guys. The little gnome going nuts here with his dagger. All right. I would help you, but I guess that's not my mission in life. It's time to leave. Let's see here. Go this way. Just take the door out. Is that it? Really? Escape from the tower. There's the door. Keep moving, please. Thank you. Time to run. Uh, yes, left control. I knew that already. Here's my sprinting. Dun, 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 I wonder if there's gonna be any more to off around here. Look at that. I smell Speak the of the devil. We even got some, uh, some nice chest there. Some nice chest action. Come here, Tuatha. Mix it up with a little magic. That is a lot of damage. Oh, holy heck. What's in here? Gold coins and a lockpick. Alright. Let's continue though along our way. Is there any chest in more action over here? No. There's not. There's a blinding glare coming into this room. That's terrible. Ah, uh, I see some shiny. My healing potion. Ooh, look at this. Look at this fool. Dustling. Prepare to perish, Dusterling. Listen, du oh wow, that is a lot of damage from Mr. Rock Troll. Let's see if we can get a couple shots off of here. That is pretty much nothing. Okay, just dodge it. There you go. Now I'm gonna hit these guys with some magic. That thing. That's a lot of damage. No, that's the wrong. <laughs> that's the wrong way. I did not want you to roll that way. And okay. Getting stuck in attack animations against this dude is pretty pretty terrible. Alright, so let's let him do his fanciness. I wonder if I can block that. No, not that. I know I can't block that, but I wonder if I can block the incoming. I wonder if I can block that incoming little thing that he does there. Let's see here. We gotta do rock roll. Ooh, there we go, I can dodge it. Let's see better. Hey, okay. I'll try running. This is when being a melee guy is kind of kind of rough. Oh yes, you're down for the count. Down for the count. Keep it up. Keep it up. Magic shot. Magic shot. Couple more shots. No! Backhand to the face. Nice dodge. Just barely missed up. Man, this was a lot hard this was a lot easier <laughs> the beta when I was playing on normal. This hard really is harder. For example, this kind of chain stun action is really... Oh, here we go, here we go. Ready for it, my friends? About to happen, space bar, spam it, spam it. 100% extra XP, and you took a spear to the face. Thanks for the extra XP, chump. Give me a nice ring, some coins, and all sorts of stuff. Absolutely, absolutely, I will take that. Let's go to Alistar Glade. Here we are. We just exited the Well of Souls housing. I'm sure it has a name. The, the laboratory, the laboratory. Now, actually here we go. 
Ooh, I unlocked Reborn. Nice achievements. Gotta level up. So we'll do that. First, let's break some of these boxes here, just in case there's anything of interest inside of them. I'm picking up some gold, but that's about it. New quest into the light. Did they really do that? First quest was out of the darkness and then into the light. I mean, is that really, really necessary? Honestly. All right. Box is destroyed. What are you doing, crazy gnome? Let's take a look at this level up, guys. Take a look right here. Level up. All right. With, at this point, we're going to be able to pick to level up the stuff. Now, uh, alchemy, blacksmithing, detect hidden, dispelling, lockpicking, mercantile, persuasion, sagecraft, and stealth. Uh, one point available. What to go with, what to go with. I'm assuming I'm just going to go with, uh, let's take a look, though. Increase the chance to successfully harvest reagents. You can use four components when crafting equipment. Increases the effectiveness of repair kits. Uh, increases the amount of gold you find while exploring. That's kind of cool. Also, uh, disarm traps. Dispelling. Decreases difficulty when dispelling magical wards. Dispelling is like lockpicking. There's magic. There's magic lockpicking, and then there's regular lockpicking, essentially. And obviously, increasing lockpicking will make it easier. Uh, recover 15%. Of an item's gold value when you destroy it improves buy and sell gold cost at merchants. That's cool. Persuasion bribe costs for crime are decreased by 30%. Increases your chance to persuade others to your way of thinking. Sagecraft. You can strengthen shards by combining two of the same blah blah. Better quality shards drop more frequently. And then stealth. Uh, do, do, do. So yeah, increase stealth. Increase the duration and time you remain hidden before no people notice you. Well, I'm just going to go for blacksmithing, but... There you go, you guys got to see all that. And now, here it is. Three trees, finesse, sorcery, might. That is warrior, rogue, slash hunter, and mage. That's all it is. And we're going to be going down to the might tree. Let's see what we have in the first wave. Brutal weapon, ch charge a special attack. Okay. Longsword mastery, which we already have one of, apparently. And I've got three points to spend. Harpoon, snag an enemy and pull it back to you. Hmm, that's pretty cool, actually. And this is uh, shield. Your master masterful use of shields greatly increase your damage resistance while blocking at the highest level. All right, I'm gonna actually get some harpoon action. I think. Let's go with that, huh? All three points. Why not? Make it really good. All right, we got some new inventory stuff as well. Accessories. Let's put on the ring. Okay. We got all our consumables and items, which is all just random stuff. Nothing we really care about too much. All righty, awesome. Well, guys, that is going to do it for our first Let's Play. We're going to be picking it up with another one right after this, so stay tuned for that. If you guys like the content, please sure be sure to subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning. Let's take a look at Harpoon. That's kind of cool. Let's try that again. Oh, okay, so I'll just. Little missile there. I'm sure it'll do something more interesting. And we jump into the water. See you later, guys.